So state and local general sales tax. If you elect to deduct state and local general sales tax instead of income taxes, you must check the box on line 5A. So if you're in a state that doesn't have the, the income tax, then you should still get a benefit because you're still paying taxes. It's just that now you're paying a sales tax, which is generally going to be higher than states that have an income stat tax, except that in states like California and New York, we have all kinds of taxes because they just waste money like crazy. It's ridiculous. In any case, to figure your state and local general sales tax deduction, you can use either your actual expenses or the optional sales tax tables. So if you're using the sales tax tables, it's quite easy to calculate. But if you had actual sales, some tax calculations it could be easier obviously it's difficult to know what your actual sales tax is because everything you purchased is going to have a sales tax on it but if you have a if you have a large ticket item you bought a you bought a yacht or something then you're going to have a, a large sales tax that's going to be higher than the average tables that are going to be used to calculate the sales tax so the actual expenses generally you can deduct the actual state and local general sales tax including compensating use taxes you paid in 2022 if the tax rate was the same as the general sales tax rate so food clothing and medical supplies sales taxes on food clothing and medical supplies are deductible as a general sales tax even if the tax rate was less than the general sales tax rate motor vehicles sales tax on motor vehicles are deductible as a general sales tax even if the tax was different than the general sales tax rate however if you paid sales tax on a motor vehicle at a rate higher than the general sales tax, you can deduct only the amount of the tax that you would have paid at the general sales tax rate on that vehicle. So if you paid some, you know, it's the general sales tax rate. So include any state and local general sales taxes paid for uh, leased motor vehicles. So you can see how, you know, businesses, if there's a deduction related to, to sales taxes, then you can there's an incentive to try to manipulate the cost to be categorized as something that could be deductible like sales taxes and you can see situations where they might say well it, that was applied to a higher sales tax so that you didn't get a deduction but no you have to use the general sales tax so motor vehicles include cars motorcycles motor homes recreational vehicles sports utility vehicles trucks vans and off-road vehicles caution you must keep your actual receipts showing general sales taxes paid to use this method. Obviously, that gets quite tedious because, again, you pay sales tax on everything you purchase, which is why uh, if you're not buying big ticket items, sometimes the tables are just easier to use oftentimes. Trade or business items. Don't include sales tax paid on items used in your trade or business instead go to the instructions for the form you are using to report business income and expenses to see if you can deduct, deduct these taxes so <clears throat> the taxes on the trader business the schedule c is is where you go for those items so for example if you bought a computer for personal use then then you might be able to deduct the sales taxes on the schedule a related to it as sales taxes right but if you bought the computer for business uses, then on the Schedule C, the whole computer itself might be a deductible, including the sales tax, you would think. It might have to, you might have to put it on the books and depreciate it, but you'd think you'd get the deductible up capacity of the computer because including the sales tax because you're using the whole thing and you bought it in order to generate revenue for the business. We'll talk about Schedule C businesses later. And you can't double dip. You can't say, I'm going to deduct the whole computer and the sales tax on the Schedule C and deduct the part of the sales tax on the Schedule A. That would be taking two deductions for the same thing. Refund of general sales taxes. If you receive a refund of state or local general sales taxes in 2022 for amounts paid in 2022, reduce your actual 2022 uh, state and local sales taxes by this amount. So the sales taxes are a little bit different then the the income taxes or they're they're kind of the same thing right this basically if if in 2022 you paid the sales tax and then you got refunded the sales tax but we're talking that you got refunded the sales tax in 2022 then you can take care of that in 2022 and reduce your sales tax deduction for the amount that was refunded if you receive a refund of the state or local general sales tax in 2022 for prior year purchase don't reduce your 2022 state and local general sales taxes by this amount however 
if you deducted your actual state and local general sales taxes in the earlier year and the deduction reduced your tax, you may have to include the refund in income on Schedule 1, Form 1040, Line 8Z, see Recoveries in Publication 525 for details. So this is the similar rule as with the state income tax. So meaning if you got a refund of the sales tax for whatever reason, that's more unusual than with an income tax type of system. But if you got a refund for it and it was related to the prior year, then you have to do the same kind of thing that we talked about with this state income tax refund. You got to say, well, did I get a benefit from it last year by getting a deduction on the Schedule A related to it? Tax software is quite helpful to calculate that. And then if you did, then you'd have to include the, the amount as income in the year that you got the refund on. But again, that's more unusual of a system that you'd see, although maybe it's more common than I would know because I'm in a state with sales tax. So I, I don't see how common that is possibly. 